Okay, so I've now rendered this and I've zoomed it in 1500%. Okay, 100% is just the same. 150% is one and a half times. This is 1500%, so that's gonna be 15 times, 15 times zoom. And I've motion tracked it, so this is what it looks like here. You just got six seconds. Wow. Okay, oh, now man. you can describe what you saw. Was it moving around? It was. It seemed to be slightly making slight mm -hmm. movements, mm -hmm. um, but it was hard to tell because it was a distance away. Mm -hmm. Although um, it's hard to say what's hand movement as well. Um, there was no tripod used, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I did use the railing to try and stabilize the handle. Um, but you can't help with an object, when, especially when you zoomed in on an object far away, um, the slightest little it's and huge in the camera it's huge yeah. in the camera so um but the thing sort of um it stayed there for not very long and it just disappeared uh, just like the other ones we saw last night um, they were around for about 30 seconds or something and then gone they're so gone and gone yeah okay and this clip is basically a six yeah. second it's a six second clip play it again rock please so it was flashing very rapidly and i also want to say that <clears throat> I tend to get what they call ocular migraines, maybe twice a year. And after viewing this at the morning of, uh, within a few minutes I got an ocular migraine. And I looked it up on the internet and strobe effects can give you an ocular migraine. So, just as an aside, I guess. It, this object, um, on, a, on a backup note, uh, it was appeared between in the one spot that I could actually see have a good view above the lake uh, in between these trees if it was to the left even a meter or whatever you know a few meters or whatever I would have if I was in that position I wouldn't have seen it um, so and this is how it happens a lot you just get into a certain spot and you, and you look there and they just appear um, which is incredible you know in itself um, that shows me it may have something to do with the human mind as well um, or, or they, they know where you're yeah. looking, that's the thing. Or they know where your camera's pointed. And I've seen that time and time again. Um, you know, we've set cameras up and pointed them up at the sky um, on a tripod. And then within five seconds of doing that, an object will come flying in and show off and start doing all these right hand turns and maneuvers at high speeds and, you know, stuff that would kill any pilot if, um, you know, or, or a bird even if it was uh, going that fast and, you know, um, no, no forward inertia, which is absolutely incredible. That, that's something that's um, gone hand in hand with UFO phenomena since day one. Is the um, you know you're in a car, right? And you, you come, you put your foot on the brakes. You don't get, come to an instant stop. You come, you slowly slow down. These things can go. Boom. They've been track traveling forty five thousand miles per hour, stopping, making left turns, instantly stopping. Instant. Stop. Yeah, that was my that's object, it. my very first one that I saw, yeah. was moving back and forth in the, in the flash of an eye. It was going in the other direction. Wow, that, that's impossible. That's yeah. what got me started on this whole thing. Exactly. And see, once you see something like that, that just completely changes your paradigm. It you know puts you on, as you know, puts you on a mission. You know, in yourself, you want to know. There's a deep yearning in yourself. What was that? What was that I saw? You know, science says they don't exist. Um, you know, mainstream says that they don't exist. Hollywood movies say they do. Um, you know, people all over the world say they do. But unfortunately, the scientific community is yet to catch up. Um, that we know of anyway. We don't know what's happening behind the scenes in government circles in regards to the subject. And I believe it's probably one of the most top secret subjects in the world. So if it's something that doesn't exist, why do they give it so much credibility you know um when they could just say oh, it doesn't exist we're not telling anybody we're ex exempting it we're not telling anybody we're going to do studies on it project blue book 21 year study at the end of it there was over 700 sightings that they could not even after thoroughly trying to explain them away as natural things as much as they could they could not because of the evidence radar returns the witnesses police officers pilots their own military pilots who were seeing these things, tracking them on radar, chasing them, um, you know, uh, cars being turned off, uh, people, um, UFOs flying above bridges uh, full of cars, you know, just slowly gliding above bridges right in the middle of America. 
um, you know, once you see this stuff and you hear these stories and you're looking at these people's eyes, you know when someone's seen a UFO or not, you know, you just know um, and when someone's making it up. So it, it's, it's, it's a reality that, um, you know, it's special, it's so special and um, it's something that's going to be known in the future, no doubt, and um, it's just going to take um, a lot more public attention, a lot more exposure um, to actually get it out there and sort of release some of the stigma. Yeah.